What's up guys, Specstar here today with my week 3 battle, Mega Beedrill. This time going up against my man Venocio and his team consisting of Bliscor, Cinderace, Mega Mawile, Celebi, Rotom Wash, and Porygon Z. I don't know if you guys heard that thing zipping by in the background, but someone's going fast, someone's in a rush. Anyway, I will switch over to my team. Starting off here, I got a pretty standard ass Gardevoir, about as basic as they come. Mystical Fire hits mostly the Mawile, and uh, Taunt just for anything fat that might want to try and wall this like Sylveon, partic particularly Sylveon. Next up here, I've got a Choice Specs Tornadus Therian. Basically, just this is my win con. Uh, I just want to set up to fire off Hurricanes in the late game. It hits the entirety of his team pretty well, except for Rotom Wash. So it will be important for me to get Chip on that thing. Uh, I've got it's pretty standard move. Sludge Bomb hits especially defensive Sylveon well enough. And uh, Heat Wave hits the Mawile, of course. Oh, and I have Speed, of course, on for Cinderace. Not sure if I mentioned that. Probably did. Next up here, I've got my Terrakion running basic bitch ass band Terrakion. Just the usual breaker set. Dual stab, quick attack, and mega horn, particularly for the Celebi. I have enough speed on this thing for something. That, that's Celebi, right. I got a physically defensive Milotic here. Another relatively basic set. Uh, I got a flip turn on it just for slow pivot on things that will come in like Celebi. Things that I can't hope to do much pressure on to get some momentum. I was initially going to run a Flame Orb Milotic for this game. But I found out that if I use Milotic as my response to Mawile. Then it can easily get killed in the early game exposing my whole team to Cinderace. So I could just kind of have to make do with not having a great switch into Mawile and save the Milotic for Cinderace. Next up here I have Roserade, physically defensive set. Believe it or not, this is actually intended to be my initial switch into Mawile. I can at least take one Iron Head and click Sleep Powder, which kind of buys me a bit of time. And uh, I got Spike, Synthesis, and Sleep Powder, and Energy Ball, just... Uh, anything energy ball didn't hit, I just want to set up a spike with. Spikes could be potentially nice in certain situations. Uh, they can also backfire somewhat if uh, Cinderace goes for court change, but I'm not bringing a rocker, so if he, se if he sets up rocks and I set up a spike or two, I don't really have to worry about him court changing, so it is nice to have that little bit of hazard potential there. And lastly, I have what is probably my most elaborate set. It's my Zoroark. And uh, I'm modest with max speed. Uh, basically, speed, once I... How much did that get me to? It's about where what I needed for Porygon Z. I don't remember the exact details of it, but pretty much needed if not all of it, close to all of it. I uh, might as well get there since bulk wasn't mattering too much. Uh, I'm running mono attacking Dark Pulse pretty much with Substitute, Nasty Plot, and Throat Chop. The reason I have Throat Chop is because I expect that Sil- well, I expected that Sylveon would have been the switch in. He actually didn't bring Sylveon, even though it is something I was very much thinking about coming. And if he did go to Sylveon, I could set up a Substitute, then Throat Chop it, and use it to set up nasty plots and potentially break his team. Uh, everything aside from Sylveon, Dark Pulse hits relatively well. I ran Dark Pulse over Night Days because when I got to plus six, believe it or not, Night Days wasn't actually to a KOing Sylveon, but Dark Pulse would if I got even one flinch. So uh, I'm running with Dark Pulse on that. And yeah, that's my team. Switch back to the replay view. And I just want to lead off with Tornadus here. Uh, particularly, it helps with Gliscor and Mawile, which are certainly big threats. And uh, being able to attack the Mawile right off the bat is good. I can, cannot give that thing too many opportunities in this game, or else I will be in big trouble. 
He leads off with Cinderace. I lead off with Tornadus. I know that um, if he... I know that I'm overwhelmingly likely to kill this thing. Unless he has a significant amount of bulk. And if he is Scarf or whatever, that's not killing me anyway. So my play is just to click Hurricane. Even if he goes Rotom, clicking another move wouldn't do that much more for damaging it. So I'm just firing off my Hurricane here. And it actually lands and takes out the Cinderace in the first turn. So that was a pretty monstrous first turn for me. Especially because in one of the mocks I did, I think Cinderace got five kills against me. Five or six, something like that. And that's what made me change up my team. So it's definitely a big bow to confidence for me to see that thing go down so early. Uh, he brings in the Rotom here and I'm just going to safely make the play in a Rose Raid here. He does Volt Switch out and goes into his Gliscor. Uh, Gliscor is not the end of the world for me with Roserade here. He goes for Facade. I believe I just clicked Energy Ball. I just kind of wanted to really feel out what this Gliscor is doing and get a little bit of damage off on it. Uh, him going for the Facade there. I believe I just went for Synthesis here. I'm still not sure if he is a Sword Stance variant. Here he does show Sword Stance. And what I have to do is I just have to attack this thing. Uh, I mean, I'd love to save Roserade. It's just realistically I need to make sure that Gliscor is in range of Stone Edge or Hurricane or Hyper Voice. And at full, I don't believe it is for any of those. So I just have to make sure that I have to accept that Roserade's going down and make sure this thing gets damaged because it is a big threat and I need to make sure I'm able to kill it. So uh, he will be able to take out my Roserade here, but at least he's at a lowered amount. Low enough that I can go into my Gardevoir. Since he's shown Facade and Sword Stance, I'm pretty sure he's not Protect. I would imagine he's Earthquake and Roost with the last two moves, and that's relevant. I'm just going to Mega Evolve and Hyper Voice. Fortunately, now two of the three big monsters are already gone. Uh, I did lose my Roserade, but I'm definitely happy to see that thing go down in my Hyper Voice there. Uh, he goes into Mawile now, and I'm going to switch into my Milotic. Since I no longer need Milotic for Cinderace, I'm willing to just go into it, it here as my first switch in. He switches into Selby. I just went for Scald. I wanted to get that damage off on Mawile if he did decide to kill me. And uh, with Selby, I actually just decided to click, click my flip turn. And that's because I thought there was a very high chance of him clicking Thunder Wave, predicting Tornadus. At this point, I don't want to take a big chance with Tornadus. I'm much more willing to risk the Milotic going down, so I'm actually just going to click Flip Turn. And he does U-Turn, actually, so that works just as well. And I get to bring in my Gardevoir here on the Rotom. And I get to click my nasty old Hyper Voice. As I was saying before my laptop crashed, based on this damage, he's max HP, so I'm guessing that he's probably not max speed. Even if he is, I just want to chance the speed tie here to kill it. And the Hyper Voice will take it out here. He brings in his Mawile. This time I just need to get damage off on it. Uh, there's not as much point in saving Gardevoir as opposed to the other mons I have left anymore. So uh, here I'm actually going to bring in my... Zoroark, and that's because I want to keep Terrakion out of range of Porygon Z for as long as possible, just trying to secure as safe of an endgame as I can. So I bring in Zoroark here to just take off the Mawile, I know it's in range, and the Dark Pulse will take it out. He goes here in his Porygon Z, I just want to attack and damage it. Uh, he's appears to be Scarf, and uh, he's locked into the normal move, so I just have to go here into my Terrakion. Another crash, but I went into Terrak here as the Porygon Z was locked into the normal type move, hoping to dodge uh, that good old, old freeze or paralysis here with the Tri-Attack. I do make it out of there with no status, and I'm able to pick it off with close combat. That monster going down, Rotom Wash is now the last remaining Mon. And the close combat from the Terrakion here is going to be able to put it in range of the Sludge Bomb from my Tornadus. And we are going to bounce back after a loss to Bill last week and go 2-1 and one here. Uh, GG to my man Venocio. Uh, it's definitely interesting to play my man here because 
previously in other weeks I'd been going to him to do our mocks and builds, so uh, it was interesting to play against him. But, uh, you know, GG. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a good night.